Welcome back to the back rooms, an incredibly expansive, seemingly infinite dimension with multiple different levels resembling corrupted uncanny valley liminal spaces. If you don't know what the back rooms are, you should definitely watch my other stuff explaining it or I'll staple a dead snake to your forehead. Today's fever dream of a back rooms cartoon is about the Shady Gray. The Shady Gray, spelled like an emo kid's online alias, is a collection of incredibly unstable sublevels that are all in black and white and affected by a unique glitching distortion effect. There are five documented levels in this collection. There are three more, but no one knows what happens to the documents or the wanderers that recorded it. The first sublevel is level 00. This level is a jungle affected by the glitchy black and white phenomena that affects all shady gray levels. The trees glitch within one another and all animals appear distorted. Touching these distorted things will lead to death by full body distortion and organ evisceration, but on the bright side, this level has a bestiality fatality rate of 100%. The level has a 12 hour day night cycle, however it is extremely different from the normal 24 hour cycle within the front rooms. Instead of the sun slowly moving across the sky and then crossing the horizon, the sky instantly changes from day to night or vice versa without any warning. During the day there are no entities, but at night they become as numerous as the colonies of bacteria in the swamp ass accumulating in your taint as you watch this. The entities in question are unknown due to the night state of level zero being completely devoid of any light. The only confirmed entity in this section are the howlers because people only know what they sound like and no one knows what the hell they look like. Every time the clock hits 12, it shifts from day to night. To proceed to the next level, all you gotta do is take a branch and draw a pentagram into the mud for some reason. I don't know, dude. I mean, that's what the wiki says. Actually, no, I don't like that. There's no reason to include satanic info influence in the back rooms. It's a hat on top of the additional nine hats it's already wearing. You just, you just no clip out. What do you mean this isn't the bathrooms? Level 1-1 is an extremely unstable, old-timey manor. Much of the furniture is glitchy and distorted, and again, touching it results in full body distortion and organ evisceration. There is one entity on this level known as the Landlord, who looks like a tall, slender man from the 50s in a fedora and business suit, except he has the same glitching as the furniture in the level. Actually, no fuck it, he's just literally Slenderman. If he sees you, he will approach you slowly. Attempting to run will result in all doors closing and locking before you can exit. The landlord will continue to approach, claiming you are trespassing to watch him on the toilet. Contact with the landlord results in death in the same fashion as when one touches the furniture. Humans usually either perish when he gets to them or break down one of the doors leading to level 2-2. Two -two. Level 2-2 two -two is a large, thick forest covered in snow. Despite being covered in snow, this level is actually incredibly hot, so much so that wanderers often die of heat stroke or heat syncope. I don't feel so good. Because everything in this level is tinted black and white, sunburns are very hard to see forming, and people often get severe blisters in a matter of minutes if not in the shade. There is one type of rarely seen entity on this level known as the Fallen Angels. They are humanoids with large black wings and horns. They all look to be fatally injured and will mostly just ignore wanderers, but if provoked they will clip wanderers into level 3-3. If you for some reason want to provoke them, simply point out how cliche their entire design is and they'll get super defensive and immediately resort to violence. Level 3-3 is an infinite ocean filled with anomalous time-altering cocks. Clocks. The ocean consists of an incredibly toxic mix of distilled water, mercury, and motor oil. There are three different types of clocks floating on the surface of this ocean. Analog clocks, digital clocks, and grandfather clocks, each with unique anomalous properties. Analog clocks will clip you into level 4-4, digital clocks will freeze someone in time, usually resulting in them just drowning, and grandfather clocks either age the person into an incredibly elderly person or a fetus, which usually also just results in drowning. There are boats on this level filled with faceless, fat, sunburned tourist guys in grayed out Hawaiian shirts and islands on this level as well, all seemingly having the same blistering weather conditions as level 2-2. Level 4-4 is an expansive gothic city where the glitching of the shady gray becomes incredibly severe. Some buildings are upside down, some are clipped inside of each other, some are floating. All the buildings are locked, but like the skull of those who are unsubscribed, they can easily be busted it into. This is basically asking for death though, as the buildings are infested with smilers, skin stealers, and a hostile entity known as the Mangled. The Mangled are skinless human heads that move with a series of spider-like limbs constructed from human bones and muscle tissue. 
The ends of their limbs are incredibly sharp, and they dig the nubbins into the surface to allow them to climb amongst the skyscrapers. Put your guess as to whether or not they're friendly in the comments below. That's not how the wiki describes them. The streets aren't much better, as you'll probably end up curb stomped and robbed by the violent gangs of faceless people that roam the alleys. The entire level is overcast by the thick gray clouds, making it extremely dark. This makes the level doubly dangerous if you have seasonal affective disorder, aka the depressive disorder that some pessimistic at named Sad. No clipping here brings you to the last documented level of the Shady Grey, Lost Hope. Lost Hope is the level with the edge lordiest name. Sounds like a goddamn XXX Tentacion wannabe. This is when the stability of the Shady Grey completely disappears. This level resembles the concrete pipe filled maintenance hallways of level 2, except the walls are distorted and wobbling with great intensity. This level is almost entirely undocumented as anyone who touches a surface here has their body ripped apart at the atomic level. The strong friendship bond keeping their atoms together, slowly breaking apart until their entire body is reduced to nothing but floating particles. This process resembles intense radiation damage. Except, I'm gonna say that it's worse because for spooky. Anyways, that's it for this time. If you got disturbed, you knew the risk when you opened the internet. I don't know how you get disturbed because describing things in great detail literally takes the fangs out of a goddamn snake. If you want us to go clip back into the back rooms and explore more of the moist crevices and corner of the, the Dimension House dogs, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, with all notifications enabled so I know you want to see more. Before we go, I want to thank my friend Christian Klein for drawing this Yay Tuan AZFK. It was originally for the Q&A, but I love making the series on his book, so now it's kind of like a cool little teeny universe still. I also want to thank Ela Royce for this still and Yossi Kamishis for this stills. All of the artists are cool classics, and I will be in the description of every video. First off, who am I here with? Jesus. Okay, and Jesus, I just saw you get physically attacked with the skateboard. Is this true? Yes. And please tell me what happened and why this man did this. Two days ago, I took a bath or a shower of sorts in the fountain of Washington Square Park. I covered my c*** and my balls so the water doesn't press up and hurt me. And I put my 